Louder with Crowder Studios, protected exclusively by Walther. And Hopper. Stephen. Wake up, Stephen. You wake up, you fascist son of a bitch! What? What's going on? I'm afraid you're not going to make your call time. What are you talking about? Is, is this what you're looking for? These things are positively dangerous, Steve. Well, I disagree. Especially when you take into account Walther's attention to safety measures. SHUT THE HELL UP, YOU FILTHY, FIREARM-LOVING WHORE! You know, at first, I was trying to figure out why you hated me so much. I wrote a book. Now, a book which you obviously have never read. I know everything I need to know about you. You didn't read the cock a doody book! Okay, I'll read it. I'll read your book, okay? Just let me out of here. No, no, no. It's far too late for that now. It's time for you to pay your penance. Your premium. What do you mean, you pre will. premium? What the hell are you talking? What's going on over here? Why am I strapped down? Bernie, whatever it is you're thinking about doing, please don't do it. Please don't do it, Bernie. It's time to put your beloved for-profit healthcare to the test. Bernie, no. Oh, God, no. Bernie, please don't do this. You don't have to do this. Just put the hammer down. Put the hammer down, Bernie. Ah! Almost ah! done! Ah! Just one ah! more! Ah! Now that's what I call a pre-existing condition! Ah! <laughs> He's a strange animal! Thank you very much. I'm uh, very uh, pleased to uh, be hosting this program today. Yeah. Uh, uh, Stephen Carter yeah. is well, yeah. in this post. I appreciate uh, that. Uh, in this, we'll have Mark, uh, Mark Levin yes. on the program later mm -hmm. today. Very, we'll be talking smart. about healthcare. We will. We will. All the other DNC candidates are running, of course, this, mm -hmm. this, uh, Lots. Call for this, uh, this uh, <laughs> nomination. Uh, we have a uh, quarter Afro American Garrett. What's up? Uh, How's uh, it going? Uh, half uh, Oriental Asian. Bill Richmond, I don't it's think here. You can say and uh, yeah, and uh, uh, Gerald Morgan Jr. Yeah, yeah, and I, with I, the I, wine of the day. I yes, think. and I brought a special one for you, sir, because uh, the kind of policies that you tend to push on us do this to dissidents. It's called uh, it, it's called Ooh, blindfold. They usually oh, get shot okay. right afterwards. So I just thought it was it was okay. just it was for you. Okay, that's so, fair. That's, you know, that's, that's, that's a reasonable. Uh, yeah. So I guess the uh, question of the day, which is important for everyone to be discussing right now, right. Uh, yeah. given the current state of our of our democracy, which of the 217 people running against <laughs> me? <laughs> Should I choose? Okay, is my running man. Yeah. You pick yeah. a horse. You tell me in that, the. Is it the yeah. comments section? It's comments. the comments. Section. That's yeah. the it's comments. The, okay. It's what the kids use underneath. Yeah. Before we get to that and uh, my problems with all of the nominees, uh, yeah. leading the news, ho Homeland of Urban Development, uh, HUD Secretary. Okay. Doctor, I don't <laughs> think that's actually the acronym, which <laughs> is relevant to this. It, it's relevant to the story. Ben Carson was asked about the real estate owned properties, commonly referred to as REOs. Uh, unfortunately right. for for the doctor, he heard. Oreos. As you look it up, I'd also like you to get back to me, if you don't mind, to explain the disparity in REO rates. Do you know what an REO is? An Oreo? R, no, not an Oreo. Uh, uh, an oh. R-E-O. R-E-O. Real estate? Uh, Dr. Ben Carson was subsequently asked about the effects of real estate-owned foreclosures that they've had on the African-American community. And Ben Carson responded that he would have Wow. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that mulatto son of a bitch! <laughs> wow, this, 
<laughs> oh my god! Oh wow. my gosh! Look, look, just because he doesn't parrot the the leftist policies doesn't mean he's. I mean, not black. I mean, come on. That's that's a little bit of an unfair yeah, I mean, characterization. Wow. I would he's say. Doctor, yeah, come on. They should have known what an Aria was, but you know. Hey, Mumble McMumbleson. He couldn't hear. He couldn't hear what she was saying. That's true. I, yeah, I, he was hungry. Yeah. yeah. Are, is that the that's the lady's name? Mumble McMumbleson. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And by the yeah. way, quarter Afro American, you don't have to keep me uh, on screen for the whole the I'm, remainder because right. sometimes I'll have to. I have a crick in my oh, neck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got uh, one of their. In international their news, okay. uh, Patriots in the United Kingdom. Oh, right? Patriots, huh? They've started throwing uh, milkshakes at their fascist opponents. Oh, that's true. It's yeah. a waste of milk. Yes. Whatever. So far, uh, Nigel. Nigel Farage, Tommy Robinson, and Sargon, the cat, have all been milkshaked mm-hmm. by these uh, brave British patriots. Eh, I wouldn't say, I don't know. I'm Bernie Sanders, and I approve this method! Hey, wait! <laughs> <laughs> Remarkably <laughs> wow. effective. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a waste of a milkshake, though. I mean, that's. What, what's your favorite flavor true. there, Senator? I would. Uh, 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 vanilla. I find well, that's I'm somewhat predictable. I, I have the same I apply <laughs> with ice cream and uh, gelato. No uh, Oreos in there? Frosty. No, no Oreos at all. Yeah. Frosty. No, no flavors of I am a pure added. vanilla man. Pure pure vanilla. Okay. Right. Okay. Just like your economic. Okay. I appreciate yeah. your consistency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yourself? Uh, I prefer black, white, so and yellow. So a girl Lim- uh, shared <laughs> her horror. Wow. Okay. Absolute yeah. horror on a Reddit thread about accidentally giving her father herpes. After uh, using his race. This comes from huh. uh, from the mirror. <laughs> That's terrible. The sexually active girl was on holiday and used her father's razor to touch up uh, down there before yeah, yeah, going on a yeah, date. Yeah, you, you never know what's going to happen. And the event was described by Vice President Mike Pence as an itchy wake-up call on abstinence-only education. <laughs> 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 Face, oh. son of a whore! <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> this this story would be it w- would be even funnier if if it hadn't caused her sp- her parents to actually split up. They actually they actually Ooh, got in a big fight excellent. over this because you can't get and this on the other way. That becomes a, a crisis. It's a cautionary in tale, right? You can't. No one should be uh, forced to split up and then not be able to survive simply because they use the Venus. Well, well oh, that's, that's, that's true, but in, in so uh, socialist smooth. economies, don't they tend to run out of things that are common, like razor blades? So people, actually, people would actually have to share those a the, lot. The, 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 ship, the ship lines are actually a good thing. Oh, they're a good thing. In other oh, countries, oh, they oh. don't... They not for herpes, they're not, apparently. And only the wealthy get you. Here, here's something, by, by the way, uh, that you don't hear every day. Okay? Mm. Okay. Story, uh, an Austrian official ah. warned against the cow-kissing challenge for charity. <laughs> The official said that pastures are not petting zoos and getting intimate with cows can have serious consequences. And and most affected by this news, citing unbearable loneliness, was John McCain's daughter! (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Senator, that is just... I I think think allowing allowing Bernie to do these uh, photoshops was a bad idea. Yes, that was... You son of a bitch! Oh. oh. He's so uptight, this one! <laughs> he needs more wine. <laughs> Breadline prisoner wine or whatever. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Thank that's, you that's very much. Which, um, uh, quarter Afro? Yeah. That, here, C- go ahead. C- take C- it away. You can, Cigal, uh, button? It's a cigar. Yeah, yeah. God. Now, uh, switching oh, to, to comedy, well, yeah. because what we're doing was. the late night program here yes. tonight. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The talented and brave Amy oh, Schumer whatever. took to Instagram this uh, week to stick it to the patriarchy geez. and show the world what new motherhood oh, is actually like by snapping a picture with her breast oh, pump, as you can see. Oh, but can we uh, bring the photograph up again? Yeah. Yeah. You want to see that again? Now, this I, story gives new meaning to your browser requesting that you accept cookies. <laughs> I did immediately. <laughs> I'm filthy. <laughs> oh, wow. My God. Wow! Actually, I never, I never want to have cookies and milk again. Uh, if that's the mental tie that I have to it. And by the I'm way, off. why I'm is this of. considered brave? 
Why is it brave for her to do that and post a picture that a lot of women are doing these things? That's well, not I, brave. I assume there's a, a percentage of technical mishaps that can happen with these machines. By the way, I, I hope he doesn't anticipate uh, passing the ball. Again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it> should be. <laughs> Oh my oh. gosh! Look, it's it's just not a, it's not a brave. Zing. She's not funny, and it's not brave. Both of those things are wrong. Sir. Finally, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Alabama public television they refused to air the gay wedding episode Good. of the children's program mm. author. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, they aired them. a rerun. In, have you fo- followed this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Instead, yeah. they aired a rerun uh, in Alabama of the high, highly publicized uh, in place. Sorry, of the. I'm not used to using prompt. No, yeah, I, mean, I speak from the hey, from the heart. Time. Oh, first from the heart. Okay. Yeah, as a human mm. being, really. They ran a rerun instead of trying to trying again. Instead <laughs> of a highly publicized, as you know, Mr. Ratburn yes. and mm. the special yeah. someone special, was special someone. The the episode that okay, okay, gay gay Rollins getting married. You've come a long way from an empty toilet paper roll and Richard Gears. <laughs> <laughs> Senator, oh I mean, how do, you, how do you feel about that running mate? Yeah. Or one of the, uh, as a potential, <laughs> potential running mate, right? old, yeah. old uh, Pete. Uh, are we talking about Pete, Pete Buttigieg? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Buttigieg. Uh, you know, uh, that actually, that's a, what we, we call a segue. Because a we're, segue? Gonna, we're going to <laughs> discuss <laughs> all of the segues? candidates. Okay, yes. Before I go, do you have uh, preferences yourselves? And people who are watching in the comments section, let, let us know who you think is the most yeah. viable uh, candidate Vile. I'm not going to let you catch me well, with that oh, one. Well, no, but you started okay, this a, a, a little bit. I, I mean, think the only, you know. You know, I think the best candidates are going to have to be the ones that are millionaires. So that, that that's that, why I, I love you right at the top of the list there, oh, Senator. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Oh, and and Beto, Beto would be a, a good candidate. Right, a best-selling book as well, rather than playing the <laughs> uh, uh, third uh, <laughs> fiddle on uh, a third string late night program, you well, two could probably be a millionaire. Oh, wow. Yeah, exactly Same. right. Yeah, if, we, we, if we suckled Thanks, at the government teeth for a while, maybe we could be millionaires. Do you have a preferred candidate? Uh, a booty gig, I think, mm. just for name alone. Okay. Because it's hilarious. Yeah, so there are almost 20 Democratic <laughs> candidates running at this point. Uh, and I'm going to go through reasons for why you shouldn't vote uh, for any of them, okay? Uh, P- Pete Ooh. Booty gig. Ah. First, he served in the military. Mm. Uh huh. Mayor of a small town in Indiana, but his greatest qualification, of which he lets you know constantly, is that he's a f***ing roll clip! Certainly plenty plenty of indications by the time I was 15 or so that I could point back and be like, yeah, Mm -hmm. this this kid's gay. When I came out, Mike Pence was the governor of Indiana. Uh, When I joined the military, Don't Ask, Don't Tell was still the law of the land. Oh, boy. Well, I looked at that little screen on my phone and I saw this smile. This guy. And I clicked the button on the right. Uh, I had to meet him. Uh, the most important thing in my life, my marriage to Chaston. Uh, uh, Chaston. <laughs> oh You're gay! We get it! <laughs> right, that's the, if, if that's your only qualification, right, is your sex, your yeah. preference in <laughs> sex, or your gender, that, that's not much of a qualification. If that were the case, he'd be the front runner because of Americans' pension for Chinese pornography! <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> They're the best. Filthy thing makes a white customer happier than seeing an Asian penis. Kamala Harris. That is, that is not true. That is now, not true. many people don't know this, <laughs> but my colleague Kamala Harris, huge slut. Oh, wow. Filthy. Wow. Oh, holy cow. Her I didn't know that. was actually Ooh. kickstarted by San Francisco Mayor Ironically named Willie Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Who just so happened to be the most influential man in California politics oh. who later admitted to sleeping with her. Oh, wow. By the way, she's also a cop. Did you hear that? Killer Mike, she's a cop. <laughs> Good job. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's a way to get As, this uh, up, though. an aggressive prosecutor. Oh. Uh, she mm, defended yeah. the California. Yeah, well, you probably could speak to this. Uh, yeah. Half uh, Oriental, uh, the three strike law in California. She, yeah, uh, yeah, she yeah, upheld, yeah. I believe, was the only state that imposed life sentences for a third strike that could be even any any minor felony. Oh, wow. yeah, absolutely. Oh. You sh- the streets in San Francisco. 
Just throwing you in the clink. Well, well that, that's I mean, reasonable. They got a lot of people doing that. Yeah. Just San Francisco, but all of California. And it, and it seems here like that, that, that you're, these are almost like Republican viewpoints. It's really interesting yeah, it's to very, hear you say, like, strange. you're you're bringing up very good reasons why so far that these people shouldn't be considered. The Boston bomber can't catch a break! <laughs> There he goes. There he goes. He's right back to it. And you're back off. Okay, never mind. One marathon and you're tarred for life! Wow. Wow. Dude. Gosh. Jeez. And now, by the way, she's pretending, have you seen this, to be a cool kid who smokes ganja and listens to hip hop. Here. (laughs) And I I inhale. I did did inhale. What? (laughs) You inhaled. It was a long time ago. Nice job. <laughs> but, yes. I know you have to go. They say you She's hip with the kids. I just broke news. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, was it in college? Or uh-huh. What were you listening to favorite? when you was high? Uh, <laughs> what was on? What song was Oh, Snoop. my Tupac. goodness. Oh, yeah, definitely Snoop. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. uh, Tupac, oh, for boy. sure. It's pronounced Shakur. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Are you awake? And I like it because I want a knee camper. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Come on. Wow. She wouldn't be on ice skates. She'd be on furlough. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this straight. She graduated college in 87. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Here. Okay. Technically. Yeah. Snoop and Tupac didn't have albums until the 90s. Oh. So either she had a DeLorean or she was so high while simultaneously locking up non-violent drug offenders in massive numbers. Oh. She was banging the mayor of Clockwork Hellville. <laughs> That's a reasonable charge. It really oh, is. man. Oh. What, were you, what were you, 65 when, oh, during, during the early 90s? Yeah. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you smoked the pot too, right? We, I think we all yeah, know you, that. You yeah. down, There's down no way you've gotten to be the man you are today without smoking pot. I uh, actually, I never took pot. Oh, oh, well, really? Only meth. Only meth. <laughs> Don't stop thinking I'm responsible single-handedly for the modern opioid crisis. Oh, well, thank you for that. Oh. Yeah, thank you for that. That's we appreciate, there. We appreciate that. that. What I need, I need. <laughs> My Do we have a Bernie Sanders handler around? Yeah, we need somebody uh, to call me. By the way, no. she's claiming her favorite artists include Bob Marley. Okay, do you have a favorite band or a favorite musician? I'd say one of my favorites is Bob Marley. What? Good choice. Mm. Marley was mm. dead to begin with. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God. That was, a good one. that was a good one, Bernie. She didn't shoot the sheriff. She didn't shoot the deputy. Just turned on and locked up fellow blacks oh, in wow. record yeah. numbers. Yeah, that, <laughs> that does look kind of bad when you're running for president. That's bad. It's all right. <laughs> that's She's running gonna... on the backs of the prisoners. Oh, she wants them to vote. Yes. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. What do you think about that, lawyer? Uh, you Should know, I they? think it's uh, somewhat ironic that a lot of the folks she put into prison, she now wants to vote. I'm yeah, not probably sure she thought that strange. all the way I think out. That's, I think that's fair. That's fair. But that's you fair. like that, right, it's, Senator? It's inconsistent with her, uh, my colleagues. Yeah. I, I, and I won't speak badly of any of them. But, but that uh, might send the vote to you. You never know. Because they're not going to vote for her. Could be straight in there. Okay, Elizabeth Warren is uh, next on the list. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. This is the broad who recently called for a boycott ah. on Fox News, it might be a calling it a hate-for-profit network. Yeah. Uh, no, now, this not. is important to note the differences. This stands in stark contrast to the Fox News town halls in which me and my colleague Pete Beauty Giggle mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. Correct pronunciation. But, but giggle. In order to reach new yeah. view. Hey! Hey, Pocahontas! I hope you can paint with all the colors of your plummeting poll numbers! <laughs> So you don't like her as a running mate. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Wow. I, I appreciate that you used uh, Pocahontas, though. That at least yeah. shows that she's faking uh, this this supposed, what, one 1,000... Can you board? see <laughs> with all the colors of your false DNA test? <laughs> right. <laughs> you You're coming she, over to our side here a little bit. I you, like you it. Th- I like you it. You she would qualify to get into your wife's old university with that uh, diversity number? Ooh. I would answer, but it's not... Uh-oh. Oh, mm. oh, oh! Mm. I'm, a, I'm sorry, so fast. That's a shame. They went defunct. That's wow. A shame. Yeah, that happens. But you know what are you gonna do? Joe Biden. <laughs> when this guy's not grasping at straws for relevancy, he's just plain old grabbing ass. Into the U.S. Senate as well. 
Things went so... from uncomfortable to plain awkward as Biden uh, bent down slightly oh no. so creepy. to whisper in talking. Carter's ear. Ah! By the way, <laughs> if that weren't enough, the guy's against Medicare for all. Well, what good. would you say to calls for some sort of universal health care? or something like Medicare for All from some of the other people running well, the Democratic I, look, primary. I, I, I think they're, they're well-intended. I think they mean it, it's, and it's, it's not, I'm not. But here's the deal. Um, right now, you have, 60, you have this overwhelming number of employers who are paying into the health care plan. Why let them off the hook? All of a sudden, they don't have to pay anything? What happens then to this whole thing about profit and the rest? I mean, it is, should be part of the compensation if you have it. There you go. He wants what? to maximize profits oh, for the oh, insurance yeah. industry. Unlike my plan, Medicare for All, which includes free mental health care and counseling Ooh. for all the people against whom Biden's committed grievous <laughs> sexual assault. <laughs> that alone, great. Yeah, that's that's great. that alone could uh, bankrupt the system, sir. I don't know amazing. that we can. I don't know that we can support that. I, I, It'll be a test. <laughs> I appreciate your care for the victims of Biden. Yes. That is just, it's yeah, just it's touching. warming the heart. Yes, but, but also the mental health care services that you're championing, you should probably avail yourself of those services as well, sir. Oh, I do. I do quite You do? Frequently. Okay. Well, okay. maybe maybe better health care would be better for you. Than maybe I'm not sure they're actually effective. We need real doctors here. Well, I can't sit on the couch for long <laughs> because my back gets creaky. Oh, I thought it was wow. the hemorrhoid. Yes, yes, those as well. <laughs> I also had filthy sex with that's wow. the real reason. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah that, that's It was this next man's girlfriend. We'll get to that in a moment. Yeah, By cool. the way, hit the notification <laughs> bell uh, and join uh, up at Mug Club, but don't actually do it. No, yeah, pay no, the money. No, yeah, Absolutely do it. Do For it. sure, do it. The do next it. Yeah, candidate do it. iTunes as well. is Cory uh, Corey Book, oh. who I do, while being fair, is a grandstanding mm. tool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. This I, next I would actually totally agree with that. Couldn't be, yep. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah. A, no, that, 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 very good. Couldn't be. He couldn't be more cringy, right? Yeah. Uh, then, well, perhaps this this is a prime example when he made this claim uh, while disingenuously grandstanding. Yeah. But I'm going to release the email about racial profiling, and I understand that that the penalty comes with potential ousting from the Senate. And if Senator Cornyn believes that I so violate brave. Senate rules, wow. I, I, I openly invite. It's and not it's against the, the rules, you tool bag. I'm releasing that email right now. So this is about the closest I'll probably ever have in my life to an I am Spartacus <laughs> moment. Uh, no, wow. Booker, the closest you'll come to a Spartacus moment is when everyone else stands up because they too have f***ed Rosario Dawson. <laughs> 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 it's just just joke. not you. <laughs> just not you. Because I'm quite sure you're playing seven minutes in heaven <laughs> with beauty gang. <laughs> that's, that's actually probably true. <laughs> oh my gosh. That, by the way, that was one of the worst moments of, of Cory Booker's career. He got outed like the next day, like, hey, this information's already publicly available. Yeah, but I will, I will, I will put it out I'm there. But I've got to stand on the line. You, die would never, on Senator, this hill. you would never do something like Can that. Can you tell us, half Oriental, is that in fact. Was he committing some act of bravery, or was that in fact already the rules that was already released? Oh, I mean, I think it, it is. It does show a lot yeah. of courage to uh, openly lie and yeah. grandstand <laughs> on true. C-SPAN. I mean, yeah. I'm not willing to do it. So yes. the lying, yeah. just like Rosario when she told you, "Don't worry, it happens to lots of guys." <laughs> <laughs> that's By gotta, the way, that's gotta hurt. This guy. <laughs> This guy, he also mm. thinks margaritas are made with vodka. No. Death penalty. Um, so a margarita, there's fruit, and there is ice, and there is uh, vodka. Push him off the ledge. Oh, Push him off the ledge. Oh, I'm sorry. I had what do you expect from a guy who thinks a Bloody Same. Mary consists of a Colt 45 and a misdemeanor? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! Look, I, I get it. Closing I, thoughts. I, I, I kind of thought that you would be for this. I thought margaritas having vodka because of your love for yeah. Russia. They produce tons of vodka. Yeah, a lot of vodka. I thought that that would be cool with you. I am a fan of the Soviet Union, but I'm not big on Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> <laughs> but you can still like it, margaritas, not Margaritaville. Yeah, it's totally different. That's Turn different up your thing. hearing aid if you can't hear me. Well, I got one. 
Ah, uh, one of the Margaritaville machines Didn't as a honeymoon gift from a Russian czar. Oh. And Bed Bath and Beyond, those filthy ass <laughs> change their return policy. Ah, yes. <laughs> Every time. The, the you need the 20% off coupon, then it's worth it. That's the last time I buy a Dyson from you, Ethel. <laughs> These, these these critiques though seem a little bit self-serving. This kind of leaves us with one person yeah. primarily to uh, to vote for on that side. Is that yes. is there a reason? That's that a side? fair point. Fair point. And I believe we'll talk about it before I hear a uh, half Oriental's closing thoughts with Mark Levin. I guess we'll just go to Mark Levin. <laughs> Please know who to vote for, and they'll tell you to join my club. Don't do it. Do it. Don't do it. Join. Don't do it. Look, let's turn to one part of this that I find most interesting because whenever you have an organization uh, like this or like, I'm, I'm thinking of other movements like uh, Blexit and things like this. So uh, I had some uh, time to calm down. Yeah, I got a little bit heated before the show. You did. Uh, it's okay. Before it's on okay. the first break, uh, it's it's true, it's true. It's okay. But our next guest, I uh, have right here. I have in front of me. He, I don't watch his program. Mm -hmm. uh, full disclosure, but it's on uh, Fox News, uh, Blaze TV, Levin TV, and his new book is Unfreedom, mm. okay, of the press. Uh, Mark. Mr. Levin, thank, thank you for uh, coming on the program. It is a great honor, kind of. Thank you. Well, it's, thank you. I, I appreciate it. Uh, let me ask your book, Mark, <laughs> Unfreedom of, of the Press. Uh, yes. Can you explain it for people, notably this audience, who has not read it? Yes, well, it, you're very good, by the way. I think the problem we have here in our country is we do not have a free press. We have a media, a media that likes people like you, a media that's made up of people like you, a media that basically advances a social activism, progressivism, Democrat party agenda, where you have about 80% of the Republicans who reject it, about 80% of the Democrats who love it. Uh, when you look at your favorite network, CNN and MSNBC, or your favorite newspapers, Pravda, I mean, uh, uh, the New York Times and the Washington Post, uh, you can see that, again, it is loaded with people who are pushing your opinion rather than news. Well, Mark, Mark, to be yes, fair for, for a moment, Mark, uh, I want to be clear. You, you have sort of alluded that the American press has gone from being this perhaps great bastion of objective journalism to uh, effectively to degenerating into uh, more of a standardless profession. Do I have that ab approximately correct? You do have it approximately correct, and basically... And do you become. blame yourself? <laughs> Me? No, I'm just a little part of the media, but I'm not part of the news media, that's for sure. But you do um, have, to be, Mark, Mark, to, to be yeah, fair, you do yeah. have three shows to your name. You have a lot of programs out there in the media. And Bernie, let me tell you something. I've asked you to come on every one of them, 
and you won't come on any of my shows. Why is that? Well, l listen, Vermont is a very diverse, uh, a busy state, and oh, yes. I have... Uh, I can't always be, be appearing on every show that, that asks, but I will make it a point after this program to appear. Yeah, we, we'd love to have you on because I want to dig into your philosophy, you know, Marxism and uh, uh, Hegelism and Rousseauism and uh, hemorrhoidism, the whole thing. No, Mark, Mark, that is a misrepresentation yes. of what I believe, okay? I do not want the United States to be like uh, Venezuela, which people have said. That's not true. That's not true. I want a better care for all and a system like you would see in uh, Catalonia in the 1930s, which was very <laughs> successful. Mark, so let's not do the misrepresenting of each other's voices uh, here. But it is your uh, presupposition that the media is far left, correct? When you yourself have a show on, on Fox News. Yeah. OK, that's like Israel in the middle of the Middle East, you know. Uh, the fact is that. The rest of the Middle East would be like the American media. You know, you look at the New York Times. The New York Times lied about the Holocaust. I'd say that's pretty bad, Bernie. And the New York Times lied about the uh, wiping out of 10 million Ukrainians by Stalin. I'd say that was pretty bad, too. And they call themselves the paper of record and, uh, uh, and all the news that's fit to print. I, I, I just don't buy Mark, that. We Mark, go into the, that. The New York in the Times book. did yeah. not lie about the Holocaust. That is, that is a bombastic, divisive you, and, and that, is, uh, that is untrue, Mark. Well, I don't know. Many scholars have pointed it out. I just decided to make it available to the vast majority of the American people that the New York Times pushed the Holocaust to its back pages. Where I come from, that's pretty bad. Also, they did the same thing with the slaughter of the Ukrainians, as I point out. But we even have this Russia collusion thing. You're familiar with Russia. You know, you uh, spent your honeymoon in Moscow. You know it better than I do. That's true. And that uh, went on for... <laughs> I, had a one, I had a wonderful experience. I, I do not shy away from it. I've been very open about this. Uh, Russia's been a very beautiful uh, place that I think that, of course, President Trump has colluded with. And uh, let, me, let me bring me to my, my next point. Mark, Mark, we're getting yes. off topic. Where do you yes. line up on impeachment? Uh, I believe that uh, we should impeach uh, Nancy Pelosi and maybe Chuck Schumer, although they're not subject to impeachment, maybe expel them. I reject impeachment of the President of the United States. He's a victim. These police state tactics out of the FBI and the Department of Justice, there was already a criminal investigation. We have Jerry Nadler. You know Jerry. You guys used to hang around in the same uh, basements and so forth. That's true. You got guys like Jerry Nadler and other leftists, mostly out of New York and San Francisco, L.A. and so forth. And uh, they're trying to topple this presidency and disenfranchise 63 million people who voted for this president. They put out these phony subpoenas for his personal records. Look, the president's a billionaire. You're a multimillionaire. Uh, Nancy Pelosi's worth tens of millions of dollars. So maybe everybody well, should Mark, release Mark, their tax Perhaps rates. if you write yeah. a, a New York Times best-selling book, you could be a multimillionaire too. Okay, that's not fair to character. How do you know I'm not? Mark, Mark, there's <laughs> no need for personal insults. I've written two <laughs> best-selling books here. Yes, you have. Not everybody has done that, either. and I have paid my fair share, at which point, who doesn't deserve a third lake house? Okay, that's, that's we won't talk about this fairly, but Mark. <laughs> so you, you, yourself, it sounds yeah. to me like you, you're doing quite a bit of, uh, of what about us, Mark? What about Nancy Pelosi? What about uh, uh, Chuck Schumer? What about the man in office who uh, is vulgar, dangerous, and has deregulated an economy that has, frankly, hurt the middle class. Mark. I don't mind what about ism, by the way. It's the one ism I like. You know, it beats Marxism and socialism. Anyway, uh, what do I think about the president? And actually, the middle class has expanded. There is job creation. We call it capitalism, tax cuts, reducing government, reducing regulations. That's why we have such great wealth in this country. And that's why we have such great growth. That's why we're the biggest middle class of any society on the face of the earth. That's why you can go into a supermarket and purchase virtually anything you want. We live like kings and queens compared to 200 years ago. Unlike your Venezuela or Cuba or all the other experiments that take place. Ah, even in the industrialized Yes. I'm talking about places like Denmark and Sweden and Finland, you hack! <laughs> And like Vermont. That's true. 
That's true. We do. We have uh, in Vermont, we have a more uh, socialized system, and we don't leave anybody left behind, Mark. But uh, let me ask you a final question. We do have to get going. And I appreciate yes, you sir. taking yes, The book is uh, yes. Unfreedom of the Press from a man who hosts uh, four programs in prime time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, Mark, which yes. Democrat currently running do you think has, in your estimation, okay, the best, best chance of beating Mr. Trump? I think John Hickenlooper, I think that's his name. I, I think John Hickenlooper or Hicken Hooper or whatever his name is, I mm. think uh, he has the best chance. I think that looks pretty good on a bumper sticker. Or maybe Andrew Yang. I understand Andrew Yang is running for president uh, of this country. So I'd put my money on those two. Uh, OK, perhaps I should rephrase. Uh, which senior citizen who happens to be a Democratic candidate do you believe would most likely uh, effectively beat Donald Trump? I'd say Elizabeth Warren. She looks a little long in the tooth. I suspect she might have a shot at it. Allow me to rephrase! Which senior citizen who may or may not have been or currently is a senator in Vermont do you think could be Donald Trump? Joe Biden? Oh, horse shit. I've had enough of this bloke! <laughs> Let's move on to the close! Let's close! Hi, I'm Bernie Sanders! And I'm the only member of the DNC from the last election cycle to not get an F from the NRA! I got a D minus! So you know my opinion matters! Walter, I don't know much about firearms, but I hear good things. This so-called bird doesn't fly and is protected by the U.S. government. No one knew why until now. Since the dawn of time, the ground owl has been there for every tragedy society has ever known. Had the ear of kings and leaders throughout the world. The ground owl burrowed its way into every aspect of our culture and influenced even the most prestigious influencers. Even Washington DC itself was designed to pay homage to this vile creature. And this is only the beginning. Join us on Crowder Conspiracies as we finally expose the ground owl. to say that uh, I am not a huge fan of the program, but I, I mean, what you, am what fond of I'm fond of the drama. I, I appreciate it. I the appreciate drama it. Thanks for coming out. I mean, I, but, uh, I mean it wasn't great, but, 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 but good job. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, so I do want to talk in this last segment 
I get asked this uh, a lot on the campaign trail. A, a question from many American citizens from the heart, and I'd like to take the opportunity to answer this for uh, all Americans, not just the ones who will vote for me, but for all Americans. Okay, okay. Uh, we find ourselves in tough times. Unemployment in this country is almost 3.9%. Average individual wages have slowed the less than 5.5% growth year over year. Sure, there's a job surplus, but for many of you, these are not the jobs you want. It, well, the task break across the board has mm -hmm. put more money in, in most people's pockets. Yeah, for sure, for no, sure. No, no, it's yeah. true. It has disproportionately put more money in the pockets of the wealthiest 10%. Okay? And this has led to uh, many people to feel that the American dream is dead. That the lifestyle your parents maybe enjoyed, okay, is out of reach for many of you. And I got asked that. Mm. If the American dream is uh, dead, and as it pertains to the, the question of any uh, meaningful change to reverse course, many people who talk to me, and they feel, you feel hopeless. Uh, uh, aren't most of us the ten percent? Uh, yeah. No, no, no. That's the that's the carrot that's dangled, okay, okay. like a a, a a rabbit on a treadmill. Have you seen? Mm. You, 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 you ever seen the rabbits on the, on the treadmill? Mm, yeah, with the wheel, yeah, going around, and mm -hmm. but there's no carrot. Yeah. So I want to take this opportunity for, the, for for many of you who feel hopeless to tell you that um as a public figure and as one who wants to inspire many of you to, to understand what's going on in our country. That it's hopeless! Listen, unless you vote for me, there's no way you can make it in this country! You need me! Healthcare, education, a living wage! Without me, none of those things are possible! What other choice do you have? Do it on your own and pull yourself up by your bootstraps, you son of a bitch! You delusional son of a bitch! Who wears boots with straps anymore? You need me! You can't make it in America without me! That's just what the Koch brothers want you to think! And I'll fade out! from somewhere there with the music.